Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to do a pregnancy update. I am so out of breath all the time, so sorry, but that's just what it is right now. I'm currently 31 weeks and five, six, six days today. Tomorrow on Friday, my weeks turn over and I will be 32 weeks. So I'm going to be updating from 37 through 31, no, 27 through 31 weeks pregnant because my last one I left off at 26 weeks. So after my last update, I had my 28 week appointment the week after that. I did the glucose test. I did all the blood work you're supposed to do. I saw my doctor, everything was good. The only problem was I found out my doctor is pregnant. Don't ask me how I didn't know, but I didn't. And she is delivering, she's having her baby in July. So that means I need to find a new doctor. That was the first thing. Um, she was, she's really nice. My doctor, I really, really like her and I'm so sad that she's not gonna be the one to deliver this baby because I am having a C-section. I thought I could like plan who was going to deliver my baby, but where I am, it is a pretty big practice. So chances are it couldn't have been, it probably wouldn't have been her. Now that I'm thinking about it, I was like really naive to think that I could make it through the whole pregnancy and know who my doctor was at the end. Because normally they have you see everyone on rotation because there's just, there's two medical groups that deliver out of that one hospital. So chances are you may not even know who the doctor was anyway, which may sound weird to some people, but it is what it is. So I did find a new doctor in the same practice. I met her at my 30 week appointment and because now I'm going every two weeks instead of every four weeks, which is crazy. I can't even believe that I'm at that point. I have another appointment Monday already. So in the meantime of not having this update video up, I've had almost three appointments since then. It's just crazy. Time is going by so fast right now. But anyway, back to the new doctor. She's really nice. We scheduled my C-section. I'm not gonna say the exact date, just for privacy reasons. And I am excited. So it's gonna be her and another doctor from the other practice that's there. Cause it's always two doctors on for a C-section. And I'm excited. I think it's gonna be good. She seems really nice. She has three kids herself. And I'm just, I'm excited. <laughs> So we went over my blood work and everything. My glucose test came back great. I've seen other people get their glucose test results that day, but not for us. You have to wait. So I, I guess they would call you if something were wrong in between the time you see the doctor, but everything was good. I passed my glucose test. She did recommend that I start taking an iron supplement, which I haven't started yet. And I know the next time I do blood work, which might be at my next appointment, it's either the next one or the one after that that I do another round of blood work that they're gonna tell me that I really need to start taking iron. I've had to take it with both previous pregnancies sometime around this point. So I should just go to the store and get it so that way I have it and I'm ahead of the game, but I just keep forgetting. <laughs> so before I go into my symptoms, I will go into the app that I've been showing the last couple times to show how big the baby is. This says that he is about 16 inches and a little over three pounds and as big as an asparagus. Also, I think I had said in the last update that we were planning on going to an elective 3D ultrasound place, the same one that we went to for a gender reveal because Rob, my husband, hasn't been allowed at any of the appointments or any of the ultrasounds since like the 12 week one. So we did do that. Um, we went when I was 29 weeks. So let me find a good picture. He was a lazy little boy during the ultrasound and wasn't moving around too much. He slept through the majority of it. Which one's better? This one's better. So that is him, his chubby little face. He looks just like both girls did in their ultrasounds. It is really, really wild to see. But it was so cute to see him up close and she said that he has a lot of hair and she estimated him to be about four pounds. Now I know that ultrasounds can be off by a pound up or down either way, 
but he just feels so big that I would not be surprised if at that time he was four pounds. And it would make sense because both girls were born at eight pounds, 15 ounces, and then eight pounds, 14 ounces. So if he were four pounds at 29 weeks, half a pound a week makes him about eight, nine pounds when he's born. So totally makes sense to me. We just have some pretty big babies, which is fine. And he was so cute. It was nice to be able to see him and like, cause I, at the 20 week ultrasound I had said we didn't get any pictures. So I really haven't seen what he's looked like since 12 weeks. And at 12 weeks, they're just little jelly beans, you know, like well, not jelly beans. What is it called? I almost said Teddy Grahams. Gummy bears, that's the word I'm looking for. Okay, anyway, so that we did at 29 weeks. I'm gonna just lump my symptoms together that I've been having from 27 weeks until now. The main one being heartburn is like crazy these days. It's every single night and sometimes like randomly throughout the day, it'll just happen. And I really try not to take anything, but I just, I have to take the Tums. <laughs> I know I had said in my last update that I would take it like every other night and I'm still trying to do that. So I'm not like taking so much of it, but there's some nights that I just have to because it like wakes me up out of sleep that it's so like, like I could throw up because it's right there. Like it makes me feel like I have to like cough and throw up. Another symptom that I've had most of the pregnancy, but it's been worse now that as time has gone on, is restless legs. My legs get so restless at night sometimes that it feels like my whole body, like my skin is just crawling and I just have to like shake my legs, kick my feet, the whole nine. Um, like I said in the beginning, I'm out of breath all the time. Anytime I do anything, like right now I'm talking and you can hear me panting trying to keep up with my breath. If I bring the laundry upstairs or downstairs, I'm out of breath. It's crazy all the time. Like I don't even know how I'm breathing enough that I'm so out of breath. Um, I've noticed that I have been more irritable lately and I find that it like comes in waves. Like I'll like have a week where I'm like super irritable and then the next week's okay. And then the week after that is like eh. And then like the week after that is like like I'm so irritable. So I'm guessing that's like kind of a hormonal thing that like as he's growing and my hormones are picking up some weeks more than others that that happens. <laughs> um, he has been kicking and rolling and going so much. It is so uncomfortable sometimes. Let me just show you. So he hangs out right here all the time. Like he rarely is on my left side. He's always on my right side and he'll like push out so much that it's like from my boob down. It's just like baby, like boom, right there. And it's crazy how much you can like see where he is. And I feel like I'm only 32 weeks. Like I feel like that still should be a few weeks away like that you can actually see his whole body but he's a big boy in there and it is he's stretching and it's just so uncomfortable sometimes my stomach is so tight because he's like just happily slumbering in one corner of my stomach speaking of tight stomach i have been noticing i've been getting braxton hicks contractions randomly which didn't really happen so much with either of my other two pregnancies uh I never really noticed them, so I don't know if it's a third time thing or if like I'm actually getting them this time, which is pretty crazy. Like there'll be times where my whole stomach is just so tight and then it's gone. It only happens once in a while, obviously nothing consistent and nothing to write home about. But for me, it's interesting because that's never happened. I have never really gone into labor on my own. My first pregnancy, I was in like super duper early, early labor. And I like panicked and I was so excited because I was 41 weeks pregnant and nothing ever came of it. Obviously, I still had to be induced and I had a C-section. So my second pregnancy, I had a C-section at 39 weeks. Nothing happened before that. So I am interested to see if this is the third time. He feels bigger to me. I am having Braxton Hicks randomly. So I'm curious to see if I will have any other like labor signs as the weeks go on and things 
progress more or if I'm just one of those people who just doesn't go into labor at all and my body just holds on to the baby. <laughs> so the final symptom that I've been having, which is, well, I guess it's like two symptoms wrapped into one. That is the worst symptom is I've been having such bad sciatic pain like my lower back hurts mainly on my right side because he's always on my right side so it's like from my right lower back side down through my butt into my legs it hurts so bad like sometimes when I stand up I have to just like stop and like stay hunched over like a little old lady until I can like slowly straighten out and then I have to walk like full-blown pregnancy waddle into a limp because it just hurts so bad um and then also my pubic bone has had so much pressure on it lately i can feel the like separation of it and i think that's called like pubic dysfunction something something obviously mine isn't that bad yet i'm hoping it doesn't get that bad and it just stays at like the soreness level that i feel right now so it's not that's not horrible especially compared to the back pain this definitely hasn't happened before so I don't know if it's a third pregnancy thing or if it's just a symptom of this pregnancy because I know all pregnancies are different but my first two were pretty textbook the same no nothing major going on nothing happening I just coasted through and this one has been pretty much the same except up until now that I'm getting all these aches and pains but I also have two other kids at home to take care of my husband's still working so there's that <laughs> I'm so sweaty all the time I could like go outside and just like walk to go get the mail and I come back and I'm sweating <laughs> and it's awful I hate sweating so much but I'm a big mama right now so I will show you guys my belly and then that will be it for this update. Okay, so here it is, 31 weeks pregnant. I'm sure these horizontal stripes don't do anything for my belly, you know, but he is large and in charge in there for sure. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next update, bye.